When I was 12, I was sent to prison. I cried and cried, but they wouldn't listen. They said I'd be given a minimum six years in the system. My mum's decision. No parole, no bells, and the inmates beat you up for snitching. They tried to pretend it was for the best for me and that I would learn life skills. But I didn't care and at lunch times just kept trying to break out like Michael Schofield. But then I'd get caught and put in solitary. We weren't allowed to move or speak unless the warden said so. Only free time we got was when we played sports in the yard. When I was 18, I was transferred to the maximum security facility. It was in Sheffield. They wanted me to learn the law and for that reason they let me out of my cell. But I refused to go to their lectures and seminars and I'd sit by myself and wonder. That's when I got a letter saying they're extending my sentence for the summer. What a shame, what a bummer, what would he tell mama? So he's sitting there staring at the library window thinking what the hell should he do? That's when he's approached by one of the inmates who introduces himself as Edu. When I was 12, I was sent to school. I cried and cried, but they wouldn't listen. They said I have to serve a minimum six years in the system. My mum's decision. No parole, no bail, and the classmates beat you up for snitching. They tried to pretend it was for the best for me and that I would learn life skills. But I didn't care and at lunch times just kept trying to break out like Michael Schofield. But then I'd get caught and put in detention. We weren't allowed to speak or move unless the teacher said so. Only free time we got was when we played sports in the playground. When I was 18, I was transferred to university. It was in Sheffield. They wanted me to learn the law and for that reason they'd let me out of my dorm room. But I'd refuse to go to those lectures and seminars and I'd sit by myself. And wonder. That's when I get a letter saying I have to retake some of the exams in the summer. What a shame, what a bummer, what would he tell mama? So he's staring out the library window thinking what the hell should he do? That's when he's approached by one of his classmates who introduces himself as Edu. Cation. <laughs> 